In this video, I will provide you with a method to create the template needed for the arched wall or the curved shape of the wall. But I wanted to zoom out and give you kind of a better idea of what we're doing here, what we're dealing with. We're dealing with a 26 foot wide or at least radius circle. It wouldn't be wide. It would be 52 feet wide, half of the circle. And just kind of wanted to give you an idea what the top of the circle is, where, where it's kind of fitting in here, and then how we're going to use the circle to create the template out of a couple pieces of plywood. And the formula for this, I will put it here. I'm not going to go over that right now, otherwise we'll have too long of a video, but you'll be able to check that out, and I definitely recommend checking that out. So the first thing we're going to want to do will be to put the plywood in the section here in the circle so that we can draw our line. And the plywood can be positioned in a variety of different ways. You can take and move it just as long as the plywood is in the line so that you can draw the circle. So that's the first thing we're going to want to do. The next thing we're going to want to do will be to hook our tape measure over the pivot point or the center. And this is usually going to be a screw or a nail fastened into something. And you're going to need a flat surface. Always nice to have a flat surface. I've done this in uh, backyards before, depending upon the length of the curve I need. And you can do it on a driveway. Some just a flat surface. You're going to have to get creative. You might actually have to go out into the street too. So uh, I don't I don't recommend doing that on a busy street and obviously be a little careful there if you do do something like that. But you're going to hook your tape measure over the point here and then you will use it to draw a line on the plywood pieces here. And that will give you your curved line. And I am going to put a link to another video to give you an idea of what I was doing um, in another video but it give you an idea how this whole thing works, how you can draw the line. Next up on the list, we will need to cut the plywood so that we can get the shape for our template. And you can see here that all we need to do will be to move it into its proper position. So you can see again where we're following the curve, following the outside of the circle. So this board can be positioned in a few different places. It can You can move this whole board over and where this part would come over here. So obviously we're not going to need as much of this. I just kind of drew this in there to give you an idea. If you have a, I think we have a 10 foot section here, you, don't, you might only need um, 12 feet of plywood, something like that for your template. You can always make it smaller and of course you can reposition the plywood when you're laying everything out also to make it smaller. Center point 26 feet whatever your radius will be will probably be different than this one. And that is our template right there. That's give you an idea how you can make it. Uh, if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment area and I will answer them as soon as possible.